Today we're showcasing Wit from S'more Life. He's renovated a variety of RVs, but make sure you watch until the end because I guarantee his next project, you haven't seen anything like it. It will be the only Airbnb like it in the entire United States. What do you like most about Wit's van? For us, it's totally the floors. Let us know in the comments what you think. This is Wit. He's an excellent craftsman. He's taken on buses, he's taken on airstreams, tiny homes, and today we're going to be checking out his Sprinter van. So how did you get started in RV renovations? Well, uh, I was in video production and decided I didn't want to be at a computer anymore. Okay. So um, I was remodeling my house and a friend came over, we got to talking. We wanted to build a tree house um, to Airbnb, but settled on a tiny house on wheels. So we built that in my backyard and one thing turned into another. We built two tiny houses, eventually bought a bus, started renovating it, and now vans, airstreams, whatever we can get our hands on. Very cool. So take me through the process of a van build. The first thing after finding your van is gonna be demo. Uh, ripping everything out that you don't want in there. Uh, then patching up any holes that you need to patch. If there's rust, stopping rust. Going on from there, I like to stud out the van. Um, then run electrical, uh, insulation, walls, then ceiling can kind of happen simultaneously. Um, floors you can do first and then build on top of it, but then you have to worry about scuffing things up or you can do your floors last and sort of roll it out or click it in depending on what you're going with. Sure. And then, like I said before, furniture, uh, bedding, most important things, and um, friends. Floors are stunning. Can you tell me about the process for the floors? Yeah, uh, in this van, um, I renovated, I was renovating a house in Portland and I pulled out some old lath. So they used to build houses with lath and plaster. The lath is this wood. It was held up on the walls and then plaster would go over it. So when you demo houses now in Portland, a lot of the old houses, you get, you can rip this wood out. Then you pull out all the nails, then you sand all of it, and then you decide on the shape you want. And I cut it into the, all the shapes that I wanted, glued it down and then found a nice, uh, clear coat for it after that. Um, but I've done this on walls in my tiny houses and um, some art pieces that I sell and just decided that I wanted to do it on my floor. Did it in a ceiling in um, a Suburban also. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And did you run into any challenges while you were renovating? Uh, winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cold when I was doing this one so yeah. As often as possible, I just shut the doors, put an oil heater in here, and started tried to make it bake in here. Um, but it's hard to build cold, and yeah. we're getting to that point again now. Um, but other than that, no, it's not not too hard with this particular floor. I'm used to doing it now, so uh, it's just tedious, and it took me, you know, a couple weeks of work rather than a floor if you just roll it out is going to take you a day and if you're going to do click in you can do it a day or two so if you want to get fancy it's going to take you a while okay sprinter vans are so popular right now do you have any advice for someone that's wanting to get into it finding a van right now is not easy but um search on craigslist look on all the normal dealer sites uh facebook marketplace is a good place to look and be willing to travel to get your van uh, some people who are selling might be willing to travel to you to sell their van. I'd be willing to travel to you to sell my van. Um, but yeah, I think uh, because of how much you have to pay for a van, sometimes it's worth flying to, like I have a friend who bought a van in Austin. Uh, he was in LA. He flew from LA to buy it in Austin, drove it all the way back. It's definitely worth looking all around the country for a van right now, I think. Uh, let everybody know that you're trying to buy them because you just find out through the grapevine um, and just keep looking for what you're looking for. You know, do your research and you can find out that some of these older vans will just keep on kicking. So uh, don't be afraid by too much mileage on a diesel. I think that's an important thing to remember, especially a well-kept diesel. So you have a super exciting project coming up. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so when we were looking for a van to remodel, I was on Craigslist and I came across a double-decker bus. 
that used to be a food cart here in Portland and we decided that we wanted to turn it into an Airbnb. So we stopped looking for vans, bought the double-decker bus, had it moved to my driveway. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to convert it to an Airbnb. It's so cool and we will have a video of that when they're done too. And where can people find you? The best place to find me is on Instagram, s'more.life. Thank you, Wet, for showing us your van, and thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we can keep making these videos, and happy camping!